What are course reports? Stick around and find out now on today's episode. Welcome, my name is Rodaya, and thanks for joining me on First Light. Today, I focus on course reports. So what are they? First, there are monthly and weekly installments based upon the Dead Sea Scrolls, which will report upcoming holy days in two minutes or less. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's the difference between a monthly and a weekly installment? Well, the monthly installments will show when the Hebrew calendar month starts whereas the weekly calendar is just from week to week so there is not much difference between the two but you will know when the month begins on the gregorian calendar with the hebrew calendar with the monthly reports next they will align the solar month with the gregorian calendar as previously stated and they will also track lunar phases namely the full moon and the new moon finally they will list a number of Hebrew records, um, and these records will validate the Dead Sea Scrolls, and they will provide a secondary source for those who are seeking to verify um, all the information they have. As the Bible says, um, they have established something with two or more witnesses. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to go through um, a, a trial run, let's say, of a course report right here you see exactly um the monthly course report that will be presented at the beginning of each of the 12 months um and yes the hebrew calendar does have 12 months solar months um so if we look at the very top you see year four shakaniah and all this year four represents is year four of six um what you must recognize is that the hebrew calendar has a six-year cycle, a sigla, um, and this one is signifi- signifying the fourth year. Shechaniah is the priest who would preside over or his descendants or who presided over the fourth year. So they were the priests that were in office the first week. And how this happened was there's 24 priests and they rotate year, um, week in, week out, and those priests are shown right below in gray. Let me show my arrow right here. They're shown in gray right here. And they just repeat all the way through the year for 52 weeks. All right, so underneath Shekinah, we have an abbreviation SPR, which stands for spring. Now, of course, as they go through the months and through the seasons, we will transition to summer and then to autumn and then to winter. Um, the abbreviations for summer, SUM, for autumn, um, A-U-T, A-U-T, and for winter, of course, W-I-N. Now, the next portion that's important on this page is this right here, the op. If you see my arrow circling around it, and all that represents is the first month, and that will be reinforced on the next slide. But I'm going to go through the Hebrew alphabet, and that will give um, the learner in Hebrew a way of knowing the order up to the number 12, at least. Um, of how the alphabet goes. Um, underneath that, we have week 01B. And the reason that we have that designation is because with the first week, it's split. Okay. So if, any, if you know anything about Genesis, the sun, the moon, and the stars were created on the fourth day, right there smack in the middle of the week. To represent that, we have to split it up. So even though you have your uh, what we would call Sunday at the very beginning, time did not start until the fourth day as far as how we reckon time. So this is reflected in this Hebrew calendar as well. And every day works out as you will see if you follow along with um, the, the complete year. Finally, underneath that, we have the days and they will go up to 360. Now, overall, there's 364 days, but what we have done is taken out the intercalary days 
and so that it will line up with this 360. And it's done for certain various reasons, um, which we're not going to go into right now. But just mind, that's 364 days overall. But only on this on this calendar, it's only only going to show 360. Um, so I think that's about it for this page. We'll go on to next. All right. So this one right here, um, we're going to look at the next slide, month one at a glance. And as you can see, I have that Aleph right there at the top, right by the one. And you will notice that when it's two, when it's three, you will notice that that, that will change per month. Um, also, something to note at the very bottom of the screen says pause at any time for readability. And I am serious throughout. There is a ton of information that's provided throughout these next couple of slides. And if you need to go over it um, at any point in time, pause it, um, especially if you want to study. Next. OK, so this is your month at a glance. Um, if you notice at the very top, I have these boxes highlighted and you will notice that every time I have a week, um, the week that is is current, you will see these boxes over the days that are of significance on the Hebrew calendar each week. Um, over here on the left hand side, you'll always note um, what season it is. So this is spring right here. And also it's color coded green is spring. And you'll see the yellow is summer and so forth. Um, autumn, uh, orange is color, and then winter will be blue, um, dark and light for, for all the seasons. Um, but right here, um, just how you read this. Okay, so it's Wednesday, middle of the week, spring begins. This is the 20th. It's also on a Wednesday for the Gregorian calendar. And this is March 2019. And the same thing over here. This is the 23rd, which is on a Saturday. March 2019, and that correspond to the first month, um, the fourth day in the Hebrew calendar. So um, month at a glance allows you to see other holy days as well that have not come up, and also allows you to pre-plan ahead of time um, so that you're not rushing at the last moment. All right, going further. All right, so... Um, as I mentioned, there is Hebrew records that are utilized multiple sources. Um, as you can tell from this, at the very beginning of the year, we have seven different sources that collaborate on um, this calendar. Um, we have First Inc. And, and Jubilees, Leviticus from the King James Version Bible. Um, what I also want you to know is before I go into any further, look at First Inc. and Jubilees. It has two names, um, Charles Mc and uh, M. McNip. M. M. Nip, I'm sorry. Um, and Charles Vanderkam. These are two different translators for both of these books. And again, creating a tertiary kind of witness as well. Um, Charles is probably one of the better known translators. Um, but anyway, I will. what I will do is I will present these in the description box and give you a link um, so that you don't have to search near and far for it. Now, be, feel free to use your own sources material and everything by the appropriate translations. Um, but that is something I do intend to provide for you as the listener, as the studier. Um, finally, you have different um, sources from the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Mishnah B, um, Mishnah F, Galentrio Document C. And I do provide those. I have created my own nomenclature for it for ease of readability as well as the Dead Sea Scrolls that I had initially did not have any numbering system to it. So that makes it a little bit more difficult, not impossible, but I decided to give my audience um, a easier time, easier go at it than I had. Finally, at the bottom, you will see abbreviations. So of course, DSS stands for Dead Sea Scrolls. And in this case, FRAG stands for Fragment. All right, so let's go to say the heart, the meat and potatoes of this, which is the actual week, um, the calendar week. Um, as you see at the top, week one B, Shakaniah. Um, what you will notice at the very bottom is that this right here, the dweller with Yah, Yah has dwelt, is the meaning of Shakaniah. So it's interesting. I know I've, I've traced the full year, previous year, 
and just looking at at, at a sign, a, a witness of this and how, and just being able to meditate on that particular idea of each week. And it's amazing that you will see uh, a parallel with your individual life and just things to be thankful for and just circumstances that seem to line up. But that's a different topic altogether. What you need to notice on here is that the nomenclature. So, Ursum. Now, what I underline in each one of these are the days specifically that are the holy days. Um, so, you will see a number of dates um, that are presented. But as you see, Wednesday, of course, lines was this one Wednesday, and the fourth Saturday corresponds with the fourth Saturday. And all of these are underlined to find things that are happening on that day. So, as you can see, Wednesday, um, the earth. Um, the earth, no, not, not the earth, but the earth sun. Yes, the earth sun is going to portal four for 30 months, and that's the beginning of that for this next 30 days for the next month. For the first as well, you have a full moon, and that comes on later on in the daytime um, or in the evening time. Toward the evening, you'll see the full moon. Um, moreover, and this is the first of the month. Um, spring begins on the first as well, and then of course you have the weekly Shabbat, and as you can tell, I have different witnesses that were listed on the previous page um, that verify or give a secondary source for the Dead Sea Scrolls. Finally, if we look at the bottom, I know this kind of highlighted already, but I'm going to go back a little bit. So what I do is I match up for these different holy days the the Gregorian day. So that's what will pop up at the very end, usually, of these presentations. After you have a chance to look at the Hebrew calendar, the Gregorian calendar will pop up once more that corresponds with these days. Anyway, that will be it for now. Until later, Shalom. Thanks for watching. Until next time, seek, observe, understand.